Vario terminal is the centre for setting up the main features of the tractor. Initially, what I want to get across to you is that wherever you see a box down the right hand side of the screen, the key corresponding to that box will take you into that function. For example, from the home page, key number one will take you into front linkage, key number two, rear linkage, keys three and four, spool valves, key five, transmission, and key six, a second page of the Vario terminal menu. Access front linkage through key number one. To make adjustments within that screen, you use the rotary control dial on the right here. To adjust, upper height limit, press in on the knob. Once you're happy with that setting, press in on the dot. Once you've made a setting within the Vario terminal, there is nothing to enter or store. Simply escape back to the home screen by pressing the escape key. Button number two will take us into the rear linkage setup. Buttons three and four will take us into the spool valve setup. Button number five will take us into the transmission setup. Button number six will take us into the second page of the Variotronic terminal. Using button number one, we can then access the hectare meter. Button number two will access the 10 headland management sequences. Button number four will take you into the headland management settings. TMS is another feature, a first for Fent. It stands for Tractor Management System. It's an electronic link between the engine and the transmission so that the engine is constantly monitoring the load on the tractor's transmission and the load conversely beyond that on the rear linkage of the tractor. So that the engine is constantly monitoring that load to give the driver the most efficient range of operation. There's a switch on the right hand armrest that the operator simply engages TMS with the push of a button. The system then looks after itself in terms of monitoring that load. 